Hello and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. This is the part 2 of the ammo guide that's going to cover pistols, SMGs and shotguns. The first calibre we have is the 5.7x28 which is fired by the P90 and the FN57, both fantastic weapons. Now the weapons, uh, the ammo I'd recommend are armour penetrating ammos because the flesh damage on these guns is just not worth it when you've got a SMG firing ridiculously fast. You're not really going to go for leg matter, you want to punch through that armour. So I'd recommend the SS190 and the SB193. The SS190 I believe being the best, ar best you know, armour penetrating round for it. Now I think the best thing about the SB, the SS190 is it makes the FN57 viable to penetrate face shields at level 4. As you see here. Yeah, most of them can pass up to level 4 and 5. They struggle a little bit to go through 5 and 6. They are possible though because of how fast the fire rate is. Next we have the 4.6x30 which is fired by the MP7. Fantastic round, just got a major buff. Now as you can see from the stats on screen I would only really advise running the top th uh, two penetrating ones which is the APSX and the FMJSX. But there is a massive disparity between the two being 13 points of penetration between the AP and the FMJ. I would recommend AP. Reason being is to find out how what it's going to penetrate armor wise you take the penetration divided by 10 you generally get a good indication of what it can pen with a couple of bullets. So 53 penetration you can pen class 5 armor quite easily and with the fire rate of this calibre it's going to shred through class 6 as well. I think the other two rounds are reasonable budget options but I wouldn't recommend them. Next we have the 9x21 which is fired by the Shrimp or the SR1MP. Now this is actually an insanely viable pistol as you can see by the rounds on screen. They're cheap reasonable rounds and they can pen up to class 4 with those two uh, high penetrating rounds. Which isn't bad, you know, chances are you're not going to come across someone who has a level 6 face shield. Um, I think the only level 6s are the Altons, which could be 4 or 5, and the Mikasa ones, which are the killer helmets and things. I rarely see anyone running a killer helmet because of how restrictive it is on the vision, which I think is a good balance. But again, running this round, you're probably going to be able to put most people down. Yeah, as I said, you'll be able to penetrate up to class 4 with them and you know that what that end rounds basically just flesh damage really um, you don't really want a leg matter with a pistol it doesn't have a high enough fire rate now we're on the 45 ACP which is fired by the PPSH and the 1911 now I do think we're getting new rounds in this category with the next patch because I think that's bringing the vector as well so I might have to redo this small portion in another video but you've only got two rounds to choose from and that's RIP and FMG Honestly, not a massive difference. If you're going to go leg meta, which you're probably going to have to with either round, I would recommend the RIP. Um, the FMJ will PS, um, you know, will PS class 2, and if you're going up against the Packer, it kind of, it's, it's alright at the, the start of a wipe when people are running class 2s, especially if you've got the PPSH, but you don't have access to this ammo and the PPSH at level 1, so it's kind of pointless just kind of feels there that were released a meta relative meta that one now we have the 9x19 which is fired by our load of guns MPX MP9 MP5 handguns P226 MP Beretta you get the gist the Glock as well as you can see on screen there's really only two categories again which is penetration and flesh damage if you're gonna go leg meta get yourself a uh, the CCI's or the rips if you want to penetrate face shields and whatnot, go for the AP63s or the PSTGZHs. I would advise if you're running the SMG, I would go for the AP63s because you've got a high chance of penetrating level 4 face shields with its fire rate. And if you're just running the standard pistol, I'd probably recommend going the CCIs because the amount of bullets it's going to take you to go through any decent armor, the 6.3, the AP6.3 round, you're not going to get that in one clip. You know, a 40, 50 round MPX that's going to absolutely punch through armor with its fire speed versus a 7 to 18 round pistol is not really going to cut it. Next we have the 7.62x25 which is fired by the TT and the PPSH. Now I realize I've made a mistake by saying that the 
if PPSH fires 45 by the 45 ACP. So I'll go back and edit that, that. I'll just put a little comment on saying that it's not fired by it. They came out at the same time, the, um, uh, the 1911 and the PPSH, they were like released together. So that's what's got me confused. But I will reiterate, this is uh, the PPSH is fired in 7.62 by 25. So just keep that in mind. And in regards to the 7.62 by 25 ammo type, my advice is don't use it. It is really bad. It won't penetrate above class maybe three if you're lucky. Uh, that, that's not going to go through face shields. It's not going to go through anything. And the flesh damage on the you know leg meta rounds aren't, isn't great either. So it's really poor. it's in a really poor place at the moment. Next we've got nine by eighteen, which is fired by the APS pistol, the Makarov, and I think a Saiga nine. One of the Saiga nines, I think. Could be wrong about that. But they have a reasonable round, which is the PBM, and that actually does decent... It's also fired by the Keta, I forgot to put that in, never mind. It's also fired by the Keta, which is an S S basically an SMG, which, when you're firing PBM rounds out of the Keta with the fire rate and the 40 round mags, you can do quite a bit of damage. You can go through class 3 quite fast, and if you could dump the entire mag, probably get through a class 4 face shield quite easily. So I would definitely class this as a meta competitive round. Especially with people not running face shields up to like level... I mean, I'm level 22 right now and I still don't use a face shield because I haven't unlocked one, so... Now we have the 20 gauge, which is fired by the best gun in the game, the Toz. There's only three rounds I consider viable for this, and that's again going penetration or flesh damage. Um, the thing with shotguns are, shotguns are a bit weird. Because they fire that many pellets, they shred armor really fast. So it's, it's, it's something I don't have much experience with, but according to the numbers by No Food After Midnight, which is, you know, the reference guide I use because he's the best. Basically what should happen is you should fire that many um, pellets. You should do a lot of damage to the armor. So regardless of whether it's going to penetrate the armor at the beginning, enough consecutive shots will damage the armor to the point where you can shoot through it. But I wouldn't advise taking a toss against any armored opponents. That's just my personal experience. Next we're on a 12 gauge which is fired by the M870, the MP133, the MP153 and the Saiga 12. Now honestly AP20 is a fantastic round, it's really good. It can penetrate class 4 relatively reliably, like it's not bad. If you've got a Saiga with a 10 round mag or you know one of them big 20 rounders, you can do some damage to people. Is it the best gun? No. Is it meta competitive? Barely. But it's still a decent round and it's not too bad when you've got to do the shotgun quest to kill, you know, get silence kills. I would always just run the AP-20. It's the equivalent of running maybe it's a BS-545 round. Not a BS, a BP-545 round. That's what, I, that's what I would think. As you can see, they actually can PS up to class 6, the AP-20 and the flechette rounds. Because of the, again, they can shred it. And now we come to the end recap. Again, 5.7 by 28, I would use SS190, SS190, yeah. Or the SB193 as a backup. 4.6 by 30, I would use APSX or FMJ as a backup. 9 by 21, I'd use the SB13. Uh, 45 ACP, I'd just use the ACP round, which is... Right, It's it lists as ACP, I'd just use the FMJ or the rip if you're going for leg matter. 9 by 19 and you always use the AP 6.3 which is craftable in the um, workbench now for reasonably cheap. 7.62 by 25 I wouldn't use it or I'd just go with the highest penetrating or the, you know, the most flesh damage. 9 by 18 I would go with PBM or SP7 for flesh damage. Then for the 20 gauge I would go for Slug Poleva 6U, probably butchered that, I think that's the highest penetrating one you can get. Not fantastic when he goes up to level 2. The 12 gauge, I'd go for the AP20 or the flechette rounds. Either one of those, and you you could probably take out some mid gear people. You're not going after the big chonky boys with a shotgun, because shotguns just aren't in a brilliant place right now. But you can still, you know, fight mid gear players with the, you know, shotguns. So it's, it's not too bad. And that's going to be it for this video. That was a very fast one to get out there you know I was <laughs> you got to really reel off the facts when it comes to the ammunition and whatnot but thank you for watching 
I hope it helps um, make sense of what ammo types to pick when you go in for some of these more obscure ammos. You know, like, when they release a new ammo type, I'm always kind of like, well, you know, which one's best? So it takes a while to adjust, especially for ones that were added recently, like the 5.7 by 30, or is it 28? One of those two, and the MP7 round as well. So I hope this helps you make sense of it. I hope it helps you pick more effective ammo in your raids, which in turn leads to more kills. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.